This is how also I answer. If you say you must hold on to Jesus Christ because he's a black man. Okay. Prove to me he's a black person. I'm going to use the Bible. Prove me the legitimacy of the Bible and the truth in the Bible. You're going to discover there is a lie about this. Death, this death is, a, is a lie about this birth. <laughs> His Majesty King Somnala, World of Plenty Teleport on World of Plenty TV. Divine prophetic dots for your day. His Majesty King Somnala, Plenty of Jesus. Hey, we can't have this. We can't have this. His Majesty King Somnala, the Plenty of Jesus. Ask me a question. Do I hate the concept of the Bible? To be openly honest with you. I hate it. But because I'm wise, I take advantage of it. One of the questions that I got with TikTok was, you say the Bible was taken in Africa. And the whites edited the Bible. So why don't we take our Bible and run it? We don't have to run it with it because it's from us. And Jesus is an African. And Jesus is an African. Why don't you take Jesus? You know I'm talking to Jesus. Run with Jesus. Get him in there. For me, that is like. Give me a fan. No, it's local. You know me. I used to preach. Put Christ back to where? Gang selling shumela. It's boy selling no Christ. To what? Christmas. Who kiss me? No, I still have those teachings. I'm saying as well as you in shumela. Where? Gang selling shumela. Be man. I was even so serious. Gang in chisegele. But as I study more, God, I found that he was never there. I found that he was never there. He was never born on Christmas. He has never commanded anyone to celebrate his birth. In the Bible itself. But because I was born at Christmas, I thought I'm still going to come across the verse that talk about Christmas. I blame myself when I don't see it in the Bible because I was so in with this dogma of the birth of Jesus Christ. So when I grew up, I started to change my teaching to you. You remember that? And it was difficult, some of you. I know for it is still difficult, some of, very few of you here. But you can go along. It's like my ex-wife, I was talking with her. She said, you taught me in 1992, you taught me this Jesus. I'm going to hold on. And then she kept on asking questions. She said, what are we going to preach now? Ish. And she started to ask me questions. Some of us are coming slowly to receive something. This is how also I answer. If you say you must hold on to Jesus Christ because he's a black man. Okay. Prove to me he's a black person. You're going to use the Bible. Prove me the legitimacy of the Bible and the truth in the Bible. You're going to discover there is a lie about this birth. This death is a lie about this birth. That's number one. Okay. okay. Let me leave that one. To me, to say we must hold on on Christ. We must Christ. hold on on the Bible. Because we have preached it before. And we have studied and I have taught you. That Jesus is never white. I was using the Bible. Now the Bible is standing on the shaky ground for me. Now, let me ask you a question. Let's say you have three eggs. To cook your breakfast. And while you put them there, then comes your enemy. And take those eggs. Put the poison. Or they are poisoning you to see them greater than you. Or anything is put there. How do you trust the food that has passed through the hands of the enemy? 
I know you don't hear me. Let me, let me say this, 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 this one again. We know, according to the history, the Bible is born out of the scriptures. We don't know how many percentage of those original scriptures are in the Bible. How do we trust? What if it's 30%? Two. White people came for nothing to enslave us, to persecute us, us, to take our things. They wanted to kill us. They kill people until today. We don't know where they are. If heaven was a real thing, we could not stay together with them. Why they could not stay? and worship with us in one church. Drink with us in one cup. People who cannot be with us on the car, they can bring us a savior. They can preach a gospel. How can people who brought the, all the bad news to us, they can bring us a good news? The people who take away our God, who take away our, our faith, who took away our values. Teleport on World of Plenty TV. Divine prophetic dots for your day.